So as a PCV designer, I sh just to paraphrase basically, mm -hmm. AI and the tool, the way that uh, Cadence and other tool vendors are thinking of AI is how do you make uh, PCB designers job less repetitive? Uh, how do you help them reduce the number of decisions an engineer has to make? Maybe the software can help with a good number of those decisions. More fundamentally though, it's a shift left on what's happening. And this is something you're gonna hear a lot of people talking about is shift left. Shift left is, now the electrical engineer with XAI, the electrical engineer, the mechanical engineer can do preliminary placements. So they can go and play with it. I mean, the worst thing, as a designer, the one thing that always bothered me is they get this and say, here's a map of where I want to go. Right. Okay, great. I mean, I'm going to move this over here, move this here. Mechanical says I got to do this. I have thermal says I got to do this. So it's like, and, they, and they change it and you go, I just lost a week. Great. Thanks, man. And then you go talk to your project manager and they said, no, you don't, you don't get any more time. So you start burning the midnight oil to make it happen. This happens to everybody. This yeah. is, this is, how, this, this is, is how the design process works. Yes. Very, very so, familiar. Yeah. So what ends up happening with um, XAI and with uh, the placement tools is you can place, have the electrical engineer placing things, looking at it going, I like how this flows. No, I want to move this here. No, I want that here. Mechanical can look at it. Thermal can look at it. A whole bunch of other people can look at it and they go, here we go. Here's the design and they can play with the form factor of the board. Hey, I got to make it a little bit wider, narrower, thinner, whatever you want to do with it. They go, this fits, this works. It kind of, it's you can do form fit function. Okay, this is about 70 to 80% of the design. This is where we want to flow. Now you give it to the PCB designer. They've already gone through all of the uh, uh, decisions on like a mechanical says, no, I got to put this 600 millimeter hole in the middle of your 500 millimeter board. I'm being facetious there, but yeah, sure. you get the idea. Yeah. Um, but now they have all of that put in there, and you're starting from a point that is much more. Um, ap you're starting from a point that's a lot better. So you're saying so this so what you just described. Uh, I I want to dive deeper into that because okay. I don't know if I understood it. So what I heard you say was that you know now there could be better collaboration yes. um, with this release um, between mechanical and EE. Um, to give the designer a more thoughtful requirements, let's say. It shifts left. It makes the requirements... Standard flow right now is the electrical engineer is almost done with the design. He mm -hmm. doesn't have his rules written out. Mechanical has got an idea for an outline for a board. They have an idea on thermal, if there's a thermal problem with it. And they throw it over and design go. And right. then it's a parallel. You've got the electrical engineer finishing here. You've got the mechanical engineer finishing here. And squished like a grape in the middle is the PCB designer. Right. Okay. And they kind of go, oh, we got to do this. And you got to move here. And you move back and forth. Often the mechanical and electrical are having direct communication. But, but in some cultures, it's the PCB designer that becomes the center focus of everything. And then you have SIPI. Then you also have your thermal solutions, depending on the type of solution you're doing. So what this is doing is, is, is this is tightening it up because the placement on this is fast. I mean, you go from 16 hours to hour, two hours. It's, it's very rapid on how it's moving. So you can do 20, 30 different iterations and look at it and play with it and come up with creative ways of doing things. It's shifting the, the amount of energy left. It also is forcing you to put in rules early. It's forcing you to think about your thermal solutions, your mechanical solutions early. So when it comes to the design, you have a lot of that information in there. The PI, the, uh, the PDN, the po uh, Power Delivery Network. How does that all fit into this? Sometimes that's told about it later. Do you have high voltage on it? Do you have high power on it? When What's happening? By having that defined earlier, it really helps the designers be more efficient. It allows us to be more creative in our solutions to everything. I mean, like I said in the very beginning, is, is we're always struggling. The PCB design is basically, it's a, it's a three-dimensional puzzle that is limited by manufacturing, time, and physics. Physics, I will bump up against the edge and play on that edge as much as I can. Time, well, depends on how much I buy my, how, how much my project manager actually lets me go get away with. And manufacturing is, is when I'm always talking to you guys going, hey, right. what, can I, what can I really do with this? So from your perspective, this is fascinating. and yeah. can't wait to see uh, what, what uh, Cadence comes up with. And